the ECRAM exchange we, um, grew out of uh, an APWG project that we started back about 10, 12 years ago where we collect phishing URLs and then we push those back out uh, to a lot of different organizations. Um, initially, it was just a text-based system. Uh, so was, what we've done now is we've built a whole UI on top of that, which allows our members to go in and they can pull data out, they can push data in, they can search, um, we've built an API on it. So it just gives them a lot more flexibility to interact with our data on the back end. From the private point of view, uh, for us it's very interesting to participate in those forums like APWG because we share a lot of information and uh, we learn a lot on how to protect ourselves. The best thing to do is education because we fight against through the computer security incident response teams and we stopped the phishing. So this is a problem that now is <clears throat> still to be controlled in the world, but we have a high degree, degree or high percentage of um, control and uh, it really is not a real, real big problem uh, concerning uh, the response teams and fraud. But it's a real big problem concerning the general population because uh, phishing can be used in many different things to trick the people. And uh, education is basic and uh, this is the way to really fight against uh, the, the phishing. Yeah, that's what we see from the more of the corporate and anti-phishing side, you know, within APWG, we we built, you know, these programs to allow your antivirus members and these people to share the information and block the URLs from a browser panel standpoint. Um, but you still run into the issue of the end user and the education, and that's where we've got a couple of programs around the Stop Think Connect that focuses on making the user aware of here's here's the things you should do, here's the things you shouldn't do. Um, we've got programs that we've built where an ISP can, you know, automatically redirect the user. So if they've got a malicious URL, the user happens to click on it, uh, they can, instead of going to the malicious site or just going to a 404 page, they end up on a page that says, oh, look, you almost got fished. Here's some things you need to think about in the future. Don't do this. Don't do that. Um, but, but really, that's kind of the key is, is you got to keep them from clicking there in the first place. <laughs> We, we work with uh, regulators as well, I mean, uh, with uh, ICANN and all the organizations related, the RIRs, etc. And we try to explain, to, to let understand our problems and to make policies that can help to stop phishing, for example, is the question of taking down domains that is on the table and we are yeah. doing things and negotiating things with the, with the managers of those organizations in order to have a more strong fighting to stop the threat. Yeah, that's one I've been really trying to push and, and I'll be talking about uh, tomorrow during our session a lot is, is one of the big problems we're running into is, is when you have a malicious URL, you have a domain that we know is bad, is getting that domain pulled off the DNS, getting it out of there so that it can't harm anyone else. And you run into a lot of policy issues around well, we can't do it because of this, or we can't do it because of that. And we've got to get everybody working together to say, okay, we understand that these are our concern. There may be copyright concerns, there may be this concern, but at the end, we have to think about the pain the end user is feeling, and how can we stop that? And at the end of the session, uh, we have the problem that we really work in the internet. So we are, technically, we are very strong, but we never can identify really the, the people that is after the, the threats, no? because uh, we don't know who's really managing the computer. So we have uh, very strong programs of collaborations with the different uh, law enforcement. And uh, in Europe, for example, there is a program, and this, this has started yet, between the Europol, the mm -hmm. APWG.eu, and the private sector just to uh, make a clearing house that all the information will be there and we can get the information, the law enforcement can get the information they need to go uh, straight and try to get these people, stop these people. Mm -hmm.